Hi, this is Glenn, and I'm going to show you a uh, mobile app for iPhone. I'm using iPhone 3GS in this case, and it's called Instagram. It's a uh, location-enabled application that allows you to share photos. Now, as you can see, the app is prompting me that it's location-aware. It wants to know if I'll give it permission to grab my location. Uh, because I'm at home right now, I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to hit cancel and I'll just give you a quick preview of how to use the app. So we click the share button and now it's going to fire up the camera or I can optionally go to my photo album. So what Instagram does is it allows you to add cool effects to a photo. I'll just pick a, uh, an image for my gallery here. This is a screen grab in this case and so I've selected the photo and I'll hit choose. Now it's processing. Now what Instagram does is it enables you to apply different effects to the image. So as we scroll, th scroll through here you can see different uh, kind of framing effects. That one's kind of cool. There's about a dozen of them that are here. So it's kind of a fun way to um, to mess around with an image, kind of like this one, 1977. It's hard to tell with that, but it gives it kind of an oldies look. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit next. It's processing the image and applying the effect. And as you can see, it's looking for the location information, which I don't have on. I'll hit cancel. If I had location sharing on, it would be writing the GPS coordinates to the image. Um, to the image file so that uh, you could location enable it through GORSS feeds and other uh, location aware uh, functionality. So it's asking me what. Um, I'll just give it a little description. I won't click where. If I did, what that would actually do is fire up a POI, point of interest database, and it would probably get, it would give me a list of places that are near me. So for example, if I was at Island View Beach, um, Island View Beach would probably be an option there that I could apply to it or like a lot of uh, services if my place isn't uh, listed as a selection I could add it. Now other things here um, as you can see here Twitter sharing so I just hit I put Twitter sharing on um, what that's going to do I've configured this uh, to connect with a Twitter account so when I uh, when I hit done, it'll create the image and send a tweet. You can also send this to Flickr or Facebook, Tumblr, and Foursquare as well. So there's a lot of social app connectivity here. I'll hit done. It's processing the image, and there you go. So you see in my stream here, there's an archive of photos that I've created. Um, let me show you one, just the last thing. Um, oh, that last post was tweeted as well. Um, let me find one that's, okay, right here you can see Island View Beach. Um, and there's a little place icon. So if I click that, you can see that particular photo that I created was geotagged. So along with the photo, I'm sharing a little geo information with it too. Finally, I can browse through uh, the Instagram popular stream and it's going to show me other users um, photos that they've shared um, I can look at news um, tells me little people you know comments people have liked my photos that I've shared um, and then there's account information where you can set your privacy and whatnot and finally there's feed that is my uh, that's a history of my activity so there you have it that's Instagram running on iPhone 3GS Another cool, location-friendly app.